Hello, one and all. We are glad to have you on board for what must surely be the most unmissable game of this season. It could seal the final destination of the title. Of course, there are minor conditions attached, as with all of these things. Three points are required. Sounds very easy on paper, but it could well prove to be otherwise in reality. Truly, this is a capital venue fit for a truly capital club, which Roma, of course, are. All smiles as they line up. Will it be the same after 90 minutes? Yeah, Peter, definitely the team of the season. And it's their ability to navigate their way through key contests like this that affords them the confidence and nous in knowing that the substance within can be relied upon they're far more likely to choke another one up than choke. These lads have a great togetherness and spirit, and I expect to see it again. So we're up and running. Roma saying that today will be their day. Can they do it? A win is all they need to guarantee the title, and we will know in 90 minutes from now. Dokia pushes it out wide. Basio positions himself well and cuts it out. Roma haven't lost any of their last five home games. Federico Fazio. Nzonzi. Perotti. Pellegrini. Perotti. We sit high, and the ball is out of play. That is a poor kick by the keeper, being intercepted. Speculative strike. Big relief, it just needed better contact. Jekyll did so well to make use of the little space that was afforded to him. It wasn't easy, that. Can't get the better of his opposite number. And it's Jekyll. Cheryshev. Eventually fought it without doing any harm. And Zonzi. Checo. Kolarov. Anything, Jim, to pick out of these early exchanges? Up to meet it! And he just whacks it away. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. delivery and all it needed was a touch well as contact goes that was tremendous and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net I think when it comes to the aerial department this fella is definitely no sledge and that is going to ensure his place amongst the leading goal scorers in this competition Roma take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Because of that first goal now, it's a great opportunity to make a one-way traffic and add to this lead. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Jeffrey Condogbia.
Gaia. Quarter of an hour played. Roma are very much in charge here, dominating possession and a goal to the good. Pastore. Florenzi. Pastore looking to get on the end. Big chance! That is wayward. All he'd be thinking is, please, ground, swallow me up. Florenzi. Well, they would seem to be trying to expose the centre of that defence to, to runners. Makes for some terrific movement. It does, and they may be hit on the break because obviously it requires numbers forward to, to stretch them out. Kolarov. Man, he's got good distance. Who's chasing? Kolarov. Now it's Perotti. Valencia have a free kick. Just brushed off the ball there. And he's not played the ball, that's a foul. Gabriel. He's played him through. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Get that clear. Intercepts the through. It's well read. Pastore. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Right. Hardly anything between the sides, and the score is 1 0. Parejo. Gaia. Pellegrini with a good steal, well played. And it's Kolarov. Zonzi, Florenzi, Pastore, tries to get it forward quickly, Parejo, and they're not going to make any further progress now, Pantopio gets it back, that will annoy the manager, they're making themselves too predictable here. Piccini. Garay. Gaia. Parejo. Piccini. That'll be a throw. It's Rodrigo. And that has been clubbed away. Chills one in. Ivan Marcano. Coming up to half time, leading, and things are looking pretty good.
the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Aimed long and direct. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Cherishev. He's left his man. He's got options out wide. Pellegrini boots it to safety. Aimed long and direct. Pastore. Jose Gaia has given away a free kick. And that's going to be a booking. Now it's Cheka. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Well, that's where he wants it. Pastore. Lops it in gently. And it's hoisted clear. And that is going to be the final action of the first half. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. More than decent game up to now. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Roma leading 1-0 at the break. side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Time for a change in personnel. And it's Gaia. Dicks one in. Corner it is. Arejo goes short. And out to safety. Is it in? What a save from Mirante! And he's there to make a great save. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Could so easily have been different. Rodrigo just denied by a lick of paint. We're talking centimeters. Gabriel picks it up from the goal kick. No, no way through there. And Zonzi over to the left. Collar off. Across the line, and it's a throw. Going through, drilled in low. Garay gets rid without sophistication. Rodrigo. Gaia. Gabriel. Plays it forward. Forward it goes. Can he find a finish now? Fires it in low. It's Contoglia! And he's fouled him there. And 
Nzonzi. Roma just about have their noses in front. It is the... That's surely a foul free kick. Garay. Piccini. Gabriel. Parejo. Gaia. Keeper goes long. And it's Perotti. And Zonzi. Kolarov. In comes the cross. Offside? Yes, it is. He may have been caught offside, but Dzeko may have been born offside, but he'll continue playing on the shoulder of the last defender, I can tell you. Better pass there. That's what has to be done now, no question about it. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at him. He's gone for it! He scores! What about that, Jim Beglin? It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking, and the finish was made a lot easier. That has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, I think this is a case of anything you can do, we can do too. I mean, they're matching each other like for like here. And it's Camaro. Tries lifting it over. Parejo! He's done very well to get to that. Parejo simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. Roma have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. Pastore plays it forward. done ever so well. Gamero sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. Pellegrini, Checo, played out to the right. Florenzi. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Jekko, danger averted for now. Who saw this coming? Roma are hurt by just about the final... El Sharawi! A great save, real class. Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. Sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. Kolarov with the short one. 
takes it out of harm's way. Turns and goes back. Timely intervention. And it's Florenzi. Over it comes. Oh, that's not going to find its target. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Gamero displaying his defensive capabilities there. That's no striker's tackle. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Gaia. Piccini. And it's got through. That is terrific skill. Crosses it in. He's had a shot! Away from immediate danger. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Now it's El Sharawi. Dzeko spreads it towards the left. El Sharawi. And he's onside. Oh, that's nice. Gets up to head it. Good delivery. No joy. Valencia can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Roma, their final change. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. Paid to a promising move. Looks to clip it forward. Al Sharawi. Can he finish? Managed to get it away. And it's Pastore. Florenzi. Pastore. Tries to dink it in. Gone a long way up and away. Roma showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Kolarov. Crosses in a low one. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. They're making life really hard for themselves. The ball needs to be in the mixer, not there. And helps available out wide. And the counter is on. Piccini. De Rossi. And that is that. So nothing between them after all of that, and you can't really argue with the result. By the manager too unhappy with the outcome, and the fans really well entertained. It's all square in the end. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Roma can always take more positives from a result like this. Yes, there is some tidying up to do, but some real promise too. And that's where we have to end it. From me, Peter Drury, and my co-commentator, Jim Beglin, a very good evening to you all.
very warm welcome to you on uh, this most pleasantly clear evening. As you can see, we are getting through the uh, pre-match formalities and processes, the uh, players coming onto the field for the usual fanfare and handshakes and so on. Conditions absolutely perfect, temperatures are kind enough, it is an absolute picture under the floodlights here and the match that follows ought to follow suit. So, blue and black, of course, very much the dress code for the day. It is our understanding that they've gone with a 4-5-1. Well, most teams that use this system, Peter, will work it in a, a way where, yes, they'll have a 4-5-1 shape off the ball and ideally a 4-3-3 shape on it. We often see that 4-1-4-1 -1 shape too. And that has an obvious flexibility about it. It's a, it's a popular managerial selection because of that. It's just extremely flexible with all the numbers I've mentioned. There's the whistle. Perisic. Nyingalan. Inter Milan been in fine form in front of goal they've not failed to score in any of their last five games it's gone a long way up and away Simeon Piazza Simeone. Piazza. That too. Piazza. That too. Piazza. Gerson, Morales, keeps everyone guessing, looks to clip it forward, aimed in towards the centre, Perisic, Nyingalan, Perisic, Nyingalan, Take it out, that'll be a foul. Neither of the teams has yet taken the initiative. Simeon. There too. Gerson mops it in gently. to Piazza it's not the game we were hoping for Peter I think both of these keepers could text about their respective involvement Perisic And it's Keita. Nicely controlled. It's not England! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Look, it, it was achievable, Peter, but it needed his best. Gerson. Morales. Gerson. Plays it out to the wing. Goes long. Morales looking to run onto it. Keita. Forward it goes.
Great ball, and now the shot. Referee has just said play on. There too. Simeone. Perisic. Asamoah. Perisic. Nyingalan. Keita. Cross deflected behind for a corner. for now and that's one way to annoy his teammates aimed long and direct was good pressing, forced the error to put an end to it before things could get even more threatening. Perisic. Asamoah. Nyingalan. Perisic, Asamoah, Vecino, and it's Perisic, Perisic, Piazza, Fiorentina have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. Jesson. There two. No goals as yet. Perisic. Chance to break. Got a throw in. Gerson. Morales. Simeone. Keeper goes long. Nyingalan. Asamoah. Perisic gets wrestled off the ball. Simeon. Piazza tries to get it forward quickly. Perisic. Pacino. It's the through ball. He's had a shot! And he's there to make a great save. Perisic simply didn't do anything. And we hit half-time, so another team has broken through. But certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goalless. So first-half thoughts? Well, they've never really been threatened in the first half. I think it's been a magnificent team effort. The work rate has been superb. Very, very organised. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. Here we go again, then. At least there's always a plus side to a scoreless half. Defences are doing what they should, and it's going to take good imagination to break the deadlock here. Pacino. And the 
through ball is intercepted. Yes, and... Aimed long and direct. There two. Gerson. There two. And it's Simeone. In with a header! Good delivery. No joy. Inter can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Changed now with the ball out of play. And he just whacks it away. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Perisic goes on a charge down the left. My Ingolan. Now it's my Ingolan. Out to the left it goes. Perisic. Could be thick. My Ingolan! Defending, but that'll do. Now it's Nyingola. Pacino. Icardi with a shot! Big moment! Massive goal! Well, it was a hefty deflection, but he's claiming it. Well, it's an inspired substitution. Terrific move by the boss. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been go on and make yourself a nuisance and see if you can snatch a goal. Mission accomplished. A 1-0 lead established. Look, he's the one everyone expects to put the ball in the net. That's what he's paid to do. He's looked long this time. Luis Muriel. Lovely bit of skill there. Must score! This could fall anywhere! Simeone. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Gerson. Deftly done. It's Muriel! Perisic. Now it's Icardi. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No. It's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. And he's onside! Had a shot! Keeper's not concerned by that. They're probably getting frustrated by the lack of chances, I suppose. And it's Muriel. Gerson. And the weighted pass. Miralas. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Just has to be done. Now it's Muriel. Luis Muriel. Lovely feet. That'll be a throw in. Fiorentina are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Forward it goes. 
very well to intervene. Yeah, two goes looking. A slightly better ball would have led to a very different outcome there. Fiorentina seemed to have chosen a tougher route through the middle. That was easily read and dealt with. And he's there to hoof it away. Tries to get it forward quick. Gets up to head it! That's a lovely try, but not to be. The timing of the pass and run was exquisite. Now it's Keita. Keita looks to dink one in. By Ingolan. Now it's Icardi. He'll have a dink! <laughs> Forward it goes. Miralas plays it long. Luis Muriel. João Miranda with a fine tackle. Oh, great ball! That's been one straight back. And out to safety. Miralas. Tries to stroke it through. That'll be a throw. And it's Miralas. Luis Muria going for goal! Fiorentina are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Vashelko with a searching ball. They've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Jean Miranda. Icardi gets into a dangerous position. My Ingolan over to the left. Got a shot away. Oh, and that should have been two. Perisic really thought he'd scored to settle this contest, and he's struggling to believe being denied. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Perisic, Icardi, into the last five minutes. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. And it's Simeone. He's left his man. A really good feat from him. Vertu crosses in a low one. Miralas. Now can he finish? Here comes another cross. Get that clear. Hoists it high. Fiorentina with a corner and hardly any time left on the clock. Vashelko boots it to safety. Morales into the box. Fiorentina could have here their final chance. They're two short, played into the middle. Plays it out to the flank. Turns and goes, has a pop! And that is it. The equaliser just wouldn't come. It is over.
into Milan. Hold on. It's a narrow squeak, bit of luck, some judgment. 1-0 the score at the final whistle. Yeah, it was never a match that was going to blow us all away, Peter, but I felt the team did a lot right, especially that well-timed goal. So many thanks to Jim Beglin, that's all we have time for. Good evening to you. Very good evening to you as you join us for tonight's live game. Unfortunately, the weather for it is forecast to be less than ideal. We are expecting intermittent spells of heavy rain, which just might impact on the quality of the football. I don't think it's going to be sufficient to prevent the football from being played, nor indeed has it deterred the many, many fans who are in here and already generating a terrific atmosphere ahead of the game which kicks off any moment now. The Estadio do Dragao in Porto, distinctive in so many ways by comparison with its Lisbon rivals. They appear to be shaping up in a 4-4-2 formation. I think it gets a, a terrible raw deal these days. It's deemed old-fashioned, outdated, but in truth, with the, the right personnel, it works just as well as, as any other system or formation. Success can still be had with it, and teams are still winning big trophies with exactly this setup. So it's away we go then. So this is round two between these two sides who have already met once this season. Gaspar. Brushed off the ball there. Gaspar aimed long and direct. And he's onside. Oh, and he's got good distance. Who's chasing? Villarreal have it back and they can go again.
Funes Mori. Costa. Cristiano Ronaldo. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Matuidi. Pjanic. Now it's Matuidi. Crunching tackle. This was gone, that's a foul. It's not taken him long, and that's going to be a booking. Funes Mori Soriano Seems now to be all about width Well, when you have the personnel to create in wide areas then they need to see as much of the ball as possible Dybala and he's going long He's left his man. It is early, but the game hasn't yet sparked into life. Gaspar. Soriano. Cazorla. Oh, we don't even need to look at the stats, do we, Peter? Zero attempts, zero goals, and uh, excitement, forget it. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Cazorla. Costa. Looks to clip it forward. He'll have a dip! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Pedrado boots it to safety. Gets it, and now what? Get that clear. Cristiano Ronaldo. Gaspar, Soriano, Cazorla, Costa, good defending there, they've slammed the door in the faces of the opposition. Has a swing at it! He's done very well to get to that. Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling, his reflexes were ultra-sharp. Alexandro. Oh, stitch defending, but that'll do. And it's Pjanic. Pazola. Funes Mori. Nicely measured pass. Loose. 
Alexandra. Quadrado. Dybala. Dybala. Chance. He slid it through. And that's been levered clear. Gets it back. Well, oh, that's a foul, and the whistle's gone. And he has shown him a yellow card. Players protesting furiously, but there's little or no sympathy from the ref. out by a stubborn defence. And it's Pjanic looking to shoot! That is wayward. Well, I can understand why his thinking was that way inclined. Soriano, Gaspar, he's looked long this time, Mario Gaspar looking to get on the end of this, up to meet it! Oh, just needed a better contact. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending, they've got to stop the cross. Great strength, too strong for his opponent, dashing forward at pace. And the weighted pass. It's a brilliant interception. Wolf loose, who's getting there? He needed a better pass there. The ball's come loose and the chase is on. Quadrado. Alexandro collects the ball from behind. A lovely bit of skill. Out to the left it goes. There's the cross. That's a hit! Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Janic goes short. Gets up to head it! Oh, he couldn't get the direction he needed. Well, being able to generate that amount of activity in the box means it's hard not to pick someone out. Cristiano Ronaldo. A lot to the possibilities, but in the end, it's fruitless. Gets it upfield. Out wide to the right. Half is done. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. So we reach the halfway point. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score nil nil. Off we go once more. 
tight old game so far. Can that change now? Last-ditch defending, but that'll do. Played out to the right. Ball is over the line. I've got changes here, from both sides, in fact. Cristiano Ronaldo. Douglas Costa. Over to the left. And it's Alexandro. Going through. He's thrust his way through. Can't get the better of his opposite number. struggling to influence the game. They're just trying to negate his influence, and it looks like whatever it takes. Forward it goes. Costa. Alexandro tries to get it forward quickly. All the way back, and they start again. Funes Mori. Cazorla. Bonucci did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Cristiano Ronaldo. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. And he's away. Cristiano Ronaldo. Pjanic. Alexandro needed to come up with a better ball. Uh, was too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and, and improved upon, I'm sure. Hits one! Points oh, there! The understanding between those two plays a big part in that, and releasing the run on side proved the key ingredient. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Look, I'm sure that silencing the crowd would have been mentioned in the dressing room beforehand. And uh, just listen. Kadira. No, no way through there. The referee's awarded a free kick. The referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture. Yeah, and he's dodged a big one there. He has to be squeaky clean from here. Boots it to safety. And it's Pjanic. Chan looks to dink one in. And it's hoisted clear. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Just has to be done. Deftly done. And he just whacks it away. Well positioned to make that interception. Dybala, Matuidi. Your impression so far, Jim? Yeah, time's running out for the, the host to get something out of this. You can sense the frustration and impatience. That's 
clear cut. It's a free kick. Funes Mori, Cazorla, Funes Mori, whistle's gone, that for offside, yes it is, it may have been caught offside but, well Peter, from experience, defenders, I can tell you, hate those runs in behind them. has got good distance on that. Alexandro. He's had a goal! It's a goal! And there's the goal they've been looking for. All over in seconds, that's what they can do to you. Yes, the turn and finish is to be admired, but what about the sense of urgency and desire to move the ball with such pace on the break as soon as it was retrieved? starting to look very comfortable. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Well played, he saw that coming. Yet another to add to football's endless list of could-haves and should-haves. Uh, that was just poor decision-making and... Going for goal! And oh! Back in the game! A Tweedy duly reaps his reward, kept his cool whilst the defence lost their bearings. Well, for me, that's just pure credit and brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation, when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. Change now with the ball out of play. We have got ourselves a game here. Well, it was important they didn't get ahead of themselves and lose their discipline. This game plan could near well reward them with an equaliser. Costa. It's got through and. Villarreal are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Alexandro spreads it towards the left. Ronaldo plays it out to the wing. Pjanic is desperately calling for it out wide. Checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. He's in space and looking for options. Funes Mori knocks it away. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Keeper goes long. Matuidi. Well, this lead is tight, but it does look as though it may see them through. So it is looking now like 12 points from 12. Oh, great defending, that needed doing. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Should a goal! Should a 
put that one away. Well, he's definitely kept the side in the game there. That's really good positioning. He could have doubled their lead there. And it's hoisted clear. Villarreal are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. The defence can get it clear. Tries to get it forward quickly. Funes Mori. Chip through. Chan boots it to safety. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Here it comes. Costa. He's got away. This could fall in. Can he score? Oh, he's caught him in or out. And the referee's decided that he was fouled outside the box, and it is just a free kick. There could be trouble here. But for now, the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. Shots! Is it in? Casola <laughs> with the short one. Here's the delivery. And that's been leave it clear. Two minutes to be added on. Dinks one in. Well, he's made sure that that won't get through. The final whistle. Well, that is not the outcome they were after. A truly disappointing defeat. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? It can be difficult at times playing in front of your own fans if you're not living up to the expectations. And I think with confidence looking a little fragile at the moment, they were playing not to lose more than trying to win, and I think everything was just a letdown because of that. Well, that's where we have to end it. From me, Peter Drury, and my co-commentator, Jim Beglin, a very good evening to you all.
Well, good day to you wherever you are. You join us on a day where the weather just may have an impact on a football match that has been uh, much anticipated. It's dry at the moment, but the forecast is that it will be wet, perhaps very wet by the time the game is uh, underway and certainly by the time of the second half. The crowd, though, are here and they are in good form. There's a right old cacophony going on. The atmosphere is terrific and kickoff is moments away. The Estadio do Dragao in Porto, distinctive in so many ways by comparison with its Lisbon rivals. It appears to be a 4 4 2 formation, Jim. Well, the obvious standout in today's football in this system is that it provides you with extra presence in attack with many shaky defences about getting the right partnership in that department can pay rich dividends as long as there's a good early supply so playing two strikers can um, can be a real help to this team I mean, 4-4-2 these days Peter gets a lot of criticism but it's it's unfair any system can work if you've got the right players the action has already started so, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Well, I would say the very exciting Ross Barkley. He seems to be able to hit a turbocharged button and release a power that enables him to drive past defenders. And a sight I wouldn't mind witnessing again. OK, interesting. Whipped in. Zappa Costa boots it to safety. Conte. Azar. Giroud. Hits that long. Gebra Selassie positions himself well and cuts it out. Johansson. Went in for a slide tackle and executed it cleanly. Forward it goes. Barkley is the guilty party there. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. That is terrific skill. Good challenge, he just stood firm. It's a busy front line, uh, lots of movement. And is that working for you? Well... Not really, to be honest, I'm not a great fan of taking goal potential away from the penalty box. William. Oh, that's nice. Zappa Costa. Barkley. He's got options out wide. Towering header! It's in! Chelsea are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Chelsea break the deadlock. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Johansson.
Out wide to the right. Gebre Selassie. Klaassen. Gebre Selassie hit into the middle. Christensen knocks it away. Giroud. Looking to break out here. He's got away. Oh, sweet feet. Johansson pushes it out wide. Jorginho. Now it's Azar. Pretty robust, but it's got the job done. Johansson. Going through. A really good feat. He just whacks it away. Over to the left. Shorts one in. He's gone for it! Horrible this cue. Right, but fluff the finish. It didn't quite come off on this occasion, but it only needs a gentle tweak. Giroud battles to win it back. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. And it's Klassen. Has a swing at it! Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. Yeah, he may have snatched at that a bit, even though it was quite close. William sticks in a foot to win it back. Christensen. And it's Giroud. Played out to the right. Tries to get it forward quickly. Chance to break. Can he finish? He's been bundled over, that is a foul. Well, you might think he got off lightly, it is just a verbal warning. He's got 
Allen directs. The referee's awarded a free kick. Just the talking to, I think. Yes, it is. Time to score. Oh, that is a bit special. That has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, look, Peter, who knows what's about to happen from here. Uh, I doubt this will be the final score, though. Conte. Jorginho. Giroud. Jorginho plays it out to the wing. Hazard. Gibra Selassie gets it away. That's been leave it clear. And it's Giroud. Gorgeous control there. Has he picked him out? Managed to get it away. And it has crossed the line, and it's a throw. First 45 minutes are up. Genuinely interesting game here. Very, very watchable. Two goals, one each. We'll do it back on the first 45 minutes. Look, this match promised goals, and it certainly hasn't let us down. It's been really, really entertaining. It's a really interesting game, and they head in at half-time at 1-1. Chelsea get the second half started. Bremen can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. No foul, says the referee. William, it's William! A oh, great save, real class. Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper, just received an A plus grade. Zafa Costa. Kovacic. And it's William. Spreads it towards the left. Hazard going through. Hazard with the delivery. Gets good distance on it. Jorginho plays a clever pass. Hazard crosses in a low one. Danger averted for now. Pedro. Conte, Gibra Selassie has well to read it and intercepts. Hazard. Aim. And the finish! What a wonderful goal! Well, this guy is just not your average footballer. Alert and sharp. 
and while one or two others were still digesting the manager's half-time team talk, he's already delivering another lead. What a good player. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. This is what we've been waiting for. Still they trail, and time is ticking away. Petra. Kante goes looking. Jorginho. And it's Giroud. Out to the left it goes. Hazard. There are a few waiting for it. Pedro. And it's hoisted clear. A slightly better ball would have led to a very different outcome there. Chelsea seemed to have chosen a tougher route through the middle. That was easily read and dealt with. Actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No, it's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. Conte. Hazard tries lifting it over. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Massive leap! Oh, just needed a better contact. Well, being able to generate that amount of activity in the box means it's hard not to pick someone out. Conte. Kovacic. Bremen haven't made a substitution yet. Hazard looking to run onto it. He's got away. Yeah, he's fouled him there. Well, that looks like a final warning. Still no card. Gibra Selassie oops it to safety. Away from immediate danger. Went out for a throw in. Pedro. Now it's Azar. Gebra Selassie tries to get it forward quickly. Kante does have an assist to his name. Pedro. Well, it's obvious why they're still trailing. They're not enjoying enough possession. Helps available out wide. Now it's Giroud. Keeper goes long. Zafa Costa. Now it's Shiru. William. Looks like as they might, they just couldn't get into an attacking area. Now it's Klaas. Gebra Selassie has come steaming up from the back for this. 
That's been levered clear. There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. And it's Gibra Selassie. Aimed long and direct. Fires it in low. Bremen are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. And he just whacks it away. The changes then in quick succession. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the effort he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Sarko, and it's Giroud. Out wide to the right. Klaassen. Oh, that's a foul in a dangerous area. He's had a shot! The defence can get it clear. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Gibra Selassie for the long pass. Kante is fouled. Field. Oh, good interception. Chelsea are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Keeper's got good distance on that. Now it's Azar. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Chelsea can afford to settle on seeing this one out by running down the clock, I think. Gebre Selassie. Nuri Shaheen. Will be a throw in. And it's Gebre Selassie. Nicely controlled. Gets up to head it! Good delivery, but no joy. Chelsea can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. to intervene. Kovacic goes long. He's left it. William! Great ball to play him in, but he will be gutted to miss that. Oh, it was such a clever pass that flummoxed the defence, and it could well be revisited, this. shows there will be three extra minutes. Going for goal! Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Gebra Selassie crosses it greatly! What about it? We thought it was over. It's all square once more. A great delivery and a finish to match. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch. And it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had.
so all and that will be the final act so it's ended in a draw draft and graft and everything apart from a winning goal that never came an intriguing contest and a result which at least partly satisfies all well, what are your thoughts on today's game then jim Bremen certainly had some good moments, Peter. There were plenty of encouraging spells that more should have been made of. And with that, it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to wish you a very good evening. Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. The San Siro for so long Milan's fortress, decorated top to bottom in the colours of the famous Rossoneri. According to what we've been told, this is how it looks, it's 4-3-3. Uh, yeah, and the two wide players up front can make the system pretty much succeed or fail. They'll be quite flexible in their creative movement. They like to drift in. At times, they'll mix their game up and, and keep their width. And, of course, they're also expected to track any runs from opposition fullbacks. So they've got quite hard-working jobs. But if they can gain a one-on-one -on -one advantage, they can dictate. As you can see, we've already started here. Young boys have statistically the worst defence in the league.
Suleimani will try cutting inside here. In for a header! Though he didn't quite meet it right. Now it's Suso. Milan has now gone five games without defeat here. Plays it out wide. He's got options out wide. And that's a throw. Defence can get it clear. Pacioni. Rusakio. Kessier. Forward it goes. Calapia. Aimed long and direct. Suleimani. Chip through. And it's hoisted clear. it out to the wing it's a busy front line uh, lots of movement and is that working for you well not really to be honest I I'm not a great fan of taking goal potential away from the penalty box Marini knocks it away And he's there to cut it out. Kessier plays it forward. Oh, that's a pop! It's broken loose. Throw in. Goes out once more. to safety it'll be a throw in Petroni Suso Petroni Milan still without an attempt on target Calabria Stitch defending, but that'll do. And it's Bakayoko. Ricardo Rodriguez. Drilled in low. Pushes it out wide. He goes long. It's a loose ball. What a throw in. Now it's Suleimani. A oh, well played. He's taken that really cleanly. And he heaves it forward. That is lovely footwork. Goalkeeper's ball. He certainly caught him there. It's a free kick. Well, you might think he got off lightly. It is just a verbal warning. Suso, and he's winked it in low. It's good 
distance on it. Bakayoko spreads it towards the left. A chance! Goes for goal! And he's got good distance, who's chasing? And that's left him on the seat of his pants. He's been taken down and the referee has pointed at the spot. Milan presented with a golden opportunity here. Players protesting furiously, but there's little or no sympathy from the ref. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. Oh, he's missed it, he's missed it. Oh, Peter, I, I'm not a great reader of body language, but I didn't like the way he walked up to that. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Calabi tries to get it forward quickly. Cutrone. Suso. Shakes the shoots. And that's caused a worry or two. Barini did give it a fair old crack, and he'll be encouraged to step up again. like Soleimani! Kessier. Cutrone. Sousa. Cutrone. Keeps everyone guessing. Suso plays it back in. Soleimani gets it away. Played out to the right. Oh, great defending. That needed doing. Chills one in. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Kessier tries to stroke it through. Hits it first time! He's done very well to get to that. Petrone simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. Safety. Soleimani. Out to the left it goes. And it's Borini. Borini looking to run onto it. And that's been leave it clear. Soleimani. Oh, good interception. Keeper goes long. And it's Barini. Ricardo Rodriguez lobs it in gently. Cutrone. Oh, he's got a crucial block in there. Kessier, over to the left, in by Barini. Whipped it again. Up for the header! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper just received an A-plus grade. That's the whistle for half-time. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now but still goals. Have to look back on the first 45 minutes.
Well, I would say, Peter, that the scoreline isn't entirely reflective of that first half. There's been a decent ebb and flow. The penalty obviously jumps out as the moment, but there's plenty of time left to, uh, to see things change. So they head in, no further forward. The score here, still nil-nil. So off we go once more. Nil-nil then, and we're back on the way. Bakayoko goes looking. Complaints about that challenge, robust but fair. Well played, he saw that coming. Ain't long and direct. Now it's Borini. He's got away. Takes it out wide. Rodriguez. Great ball, and now the shot. Plenty of appeals, but the referee is not interested. Soleimani. And it's Soleimani. And now the breakaway. Hoists it high. And it's got through. Knocks it away. Yeah, it looks like a, a change of approach, and it may just freshen things up. Ricardo Rodriguez aimed long and direct. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Oh, good ball. Cotrone! Cotrone! That is wayward. OK, it's come to nothing, but it's a warning of further threat on the break. Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. Out wide to the right. Suso. A oh, well played. He's taken that really cleanly. And it's hoisted clear. And the counter is on. Young boys are keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. Shoots! Blocks! That's really good defending. Didn't come off, but an audacious effort. Petrone certainly showed brilliant imagination there to take on such a high tower of skill. Now it's Suso. Suso delivers. Knocks it away. Ricardo Rodriguez. Forward it goes. Danger averted for now. Just whacks it away. And it's Bakayoko. And that's sprayed out wide. Back into the middle. And it's hoisted clear. Played out to the right. That will annoy the manager. They're making themselves too predictable here. Uh, the ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Soleimani. Brushed off the ball there. And here's the chance to counter. Chance to break. 
all the way back and they start again. Gets it upfield. Now it's Bonaventura. He's left his man. Fires it in low. Can he put it away? He scores! They'll kick themselves if that doesn't turn out to be the clincher. What a time to score. Chalanolu with a predatory goal. Well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate. And we've just witnessed a player who was rewarded for his willingness to take a risk, as cunning as it comes. Well, it's an inspired substitution. Terrific move by the boss. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. Milan break the deadlock. Look, you can't deny that it's a blow, but this game is far from unsalvageable. And it's Soleimani. Soleimani digs one in. Here comes the corner. There's some activity down on the touchline. Seems there's going to be a change. Knocks it away. Defending, but that'll do. It's Soleimani. Trout calling for him to shoot. It's one! It's in! Well, he was never going to miss from there. So much to aim at. Yeah, it looks simple, Peter, but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off. added a whole new complexion to the game. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored. You can easily lose focus and then bang, you're pegged back again. Goes long. What an adventurous run from a defender. Boots it to safety. That intervention was very necessary. Cleared without complication. Milan showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Is it out of harm's way? Rusakio tries to get it forward quickly. Bonaventura. Oh, sweet feet. Suso wants to play it back. Cut out in the nick of time. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Going through. And he's there to hoof it away. Young boys merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Gets it back. Referee has just said play on. And that has been clubbed away. And it's Bilia. Milan have to get it. It's Bonaventura! Oh, terrific run to latch onto it, but the finish is all wrong. 
it didn't quite come off on this occasion, but it only needs a gentle tweak. been one straight back out to the left it goes Soleimani that is terrific skill it's a good looking cross look this can still go either way it might be flowing one way but there's still time for some ebb he's left his man Suso clips one through. Confirmation that there will be two minutes stoppage time. And helps available out wide. Good take by the keeper, he's read that well. And that is it, the referee has seen enough. Passion and panache and perseverance and, in the end, parity. A really good game to watch. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Well, a decent draw, Peter, with a good mix of action and plenty of talking points, and it ended with the right result, in my opinion. So that's it from us. Many thanks go to Jim Beglin, and goodbye from us. Well, good afternoon, everybody. It is uh, terrific to have you along for our live coverage of this uh, eagerly awaited contest. It should provide some terrific entertainment on uh, what is turning into a rather imperfect afternoon. The weathermen really get it wrong, and uh, they have warned us that there is rain on its way. Shouldn't be bad enough in any sense meaningfully to impact on the game of football. 
but it is a factor to be taken into consideration. Plenty of other factors, of course, principally each side's concern for the strengths of the other. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest pictures. According to what we've been told, this is how it looks. It's a 4-3-3. Yes, and the importance of this formation is not to allow the midfield three and the attacking three to become too detached from one another. If that happens, then pressure can quickly be applied via the counter-attack and you can be exposed defensively. So compactness can't be compromised. And you need talkers in this team. You need leaders and people that are willing to organise things very quickly. They've got on the way here pretty promptly. And he has been fouled there. Now it's Sterling. Sterling crosses it in low. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Nicely controlled. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Boots it to safety. It's gone a long way up and away. Laporte. Very well to intervene. Real chance to break. Gets it upfield. De Bruyne plays it out to the wing. Now it's Aguero. Sané. Oh, great defending. That needed doing. Manchester have now gone five games without defeat here. Bruin did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Aguero, he's left his man. Aguero! He's done very well to get to that. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Bruyne plays it short, and that's been leave it clear. De Bruyne plays it back in. Tries to get it forward quickly, looking to force his way through. Sterling. Anything, Jim, to pick out of these early exchanges? Aimed long and direct. Now it's Aguero. Here it comes. The ball's come loose and the chase is off. Danger averted for now. And it's Sané. If you have just joined us, well, you've missed no goals. has got good distance on that. He's through the middle. An accusatory stare there tells the whole story. Uh, that was just poor decision-making and a weak execution. Delph pinged forward. Sterling. Yeah, he's fouled him there. Defending, but that'll do. Away from immediate danger. Walker. He's in space and looking for options. Gets up to head it! Good delivery, but no joy. 
Well, he certainly got to the ball well enough, but the rest didn't quite come off him. Played out to the right. De Bruyne has got himself a free kick. Way. And that's been one straight back, and it's Sterling. Gets good distance on it. Plays it out to the flank. Kyle Walker. Sare, Stones, Silva, Kyle Walker, Aguero, Sterling, Walker drives forward with purpose, Aguero, that's a corner. Yes, it is. Knocks it away. And assistant referee rightly gives him offside. Oh, we're talking fractions. Laporte. And it's Sané. Kyle Walker. Clips one through. Stitch defending, but that'll do. <laughs> Tries a header! Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. Yeah, he may have snatched at that a bit, even though it was quite close. Neat exchange. That's a throw. Dinks one in. Walker knocks it away. Hefty challenge, but fair enough. Played it short. Oh, looks like he's been taken out there. And he's there to hoof it away. Drilled in low. Just deflected over the goal line for a corner. Just whacks it away. It's broken loose. Cleared without complication. Ball through needs to be good. Can he score? Sterling boots it to safety. And that's been levered clear.
Played into the middle. Big chance! Not this time. Well, plenty of moving targets to pick out in the box. Obviously increases your chances of the ball being met like that by someone. Good interception. Silva goes looking. Looking for space out wide. goes for half-time. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? Manchester worked the aerial route pretty well, even if it is predictable and a, a bit one-dimensional, so I'd expect less of that and a bit more variation from here. Interesting half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil-nil. Start of another 45 minutes. Well, that first 45 minutes didn't deliver as we'd hoped. Lots of effort, but a, a lack of quality with the finishing has left us hoping that someone can step up and produce something a little more magical. It's Aguero! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Aguero is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment. Back to the keeper. Keeper goes long. Gundogan. Sterling. Aguero looking to get on the end of this. Walker, Silva, Walker plays it forward, it's the through ball, a chance, looking for a decent ball in, keeps everyone guessing, and that's left him on the seat of his pants. Steered forward. Get that clear. Gets it back. Up towards the hour mark and still no goals. The big one in. What an adventurous run from a defender. A really good feat. And it's hoisted clear. Manchester can make their change now with uh, a break in play. Defence is, is wary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight. Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. And that is as far as they're going to go. And it's Aguero. It's come loose. Going out for a throw in. Sterling. Delph. 
Over to the left. Not long left, and still we await the breakthrough. Gorgeous control there. Walker knocks it away. Dashing forward at pace. He's got away. It's Bernardo Silva. Gundogan. Oh, super tackle. They were outnumbered and under the cosh. That had to be spot on, and it was. He spotted the run and played him through. Bernardo Silva. Out wide to the right. And that's been levered clear. Delph. Delph! has got rid of that. Walker positions himself well and cuts it out. Gets it upfield. Cuts it out. Going through. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Whipped it again. Has a hit! Gundogan boots it to safety. Well, oh, they could break here. Sterling. Out to the left it goes. Looking for space out wide. Oh, really tidy interchange. Sterling beats the offside trap. Hit into the middle. Massive leap! Oh, just needed a better contact. No, that was a slick move, and there were several options in the box to, uh, to pick out. Plays it out to the wing. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Port. And it's dealt with by the outrushing keeper. He's through the middle. Can he find a finish now? Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. Well, that looks like a final warning, still no card. <laughs> He's gone for the shot, and the ball's come out. Laporte can hoist it clear. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. It's Gundogan. Now it's Mares. He's shot a goal! He scores! Listen, I've experienced that both for and against, and you won't have to guess which one I preferred. Manchester are certainly a team that knows how to play their football as stylishly as you'll see. Tiki-taka at its very best, and they back it up with goals. When the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that faith. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been, go on and make yourself a nuisance and see if you can snatch a goal. Mission accomplished.
Manchester. Draw first blood here. Look, I just think they've kept at it, got their reward. Now they need to hang on to it. Laporte, aimed long and direct. Now it's Aguero, Bernardo Silva. Manchester can afford to settle on seeing this one out by running down the clock, I think. Floats one over. Appearance and very necessary. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. Beautifully done. Look, with time running out, they have to get the ball in the penalty box, and if it means a long punt, then so be it. They've got to give themselves a chance. And it's got through. Ball has crossed the line, and it's a throw. And he heaves it forward. And that's it. Terrific contest. It really might have tipped either way. The margins were tiny. Just a goal in it. But that was enough. Manchester leave it late. But in the end, it was great. Well, this looked like it had a, a draw written all over it, Peter. So credit where it's due. They found a way to win it. And they can take great satisfaction from uh, never losing that focus. Well, that's it from us. Thanks very much, Jim. It's a very good day to you from both of us. Well, good evening to you wherever you are in the world. We are just about ready for the action here. Kickoff is imminent. The team's indeed with us very soon, having exchanged their various pleasantries. What I have to tell you is that the weather may not be great for the duration of the evening. Clouds yet to open, but one suspects that they will pretty shortly. And when the rain comes, we are warned to expect plenty of it. We are in the port city of Porto, and this unmistakably the Estadio do Dragao, blue.
certainly to come. It is our understanding that they've gone with a 4 5 1. Well, this setup, Peter, can be very defensive if that midfield is in place purely to form a protective layer in front of the back four. But it can also be the launch pad to very quick counter attacks if you can offer pace and accuracy on the front foot. It can have a, a devastating effect, actually, uh, at the offensive end of the pitch, too. So, off we go, then. And it's also Cook. Hutchinson. Adriano. Hoists it high. Kagawa looking to get on the end of this. Reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. And it has been a recent tale of unmitigated misery on the road. Five straight away defeats. Adriano. With a beautifully timed run. Forward it goes. Nice. behind gets it back Looks to thread it through. Oh, and he's got good distance. Who's chasing? And he just whacks it away. I wonder what you've seen, Jim, over the early moments of the game. It's got through, has a swing at it! <laughs> Hector, need to run onto it. Bokan Bonu gets good distance on it. Yilmaz is the guilty party there. She could hoist it clear. Both sides a bit too casual in possession. Lovely bit of skill there. Besiktas so far providing no real test at all for the goalkeeper. Burak Yilmaz. Adriano clips one through. Nice little chip. Big chance! Great ball to play him in, but he will be gutted to miss that. Burak Yilmaz certainly did his part with a lovely pass, and unfortunately, the loveliness ceased there. out wide and out to safety Not the worst cross in the world but still room for improvement 
wieder. Kokan Koru. Charisma. Hutchinson plays it out to the wing. Now it's Kagawa. Fires it in low. Danger averted for now. Lobs it in gently. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Strong touch. Charisma moves for the cross. Besiktas have been pretty good down that left side, you know. Charisma clearly looking the key component now with the concentration on width. Besiktas really aren't convincing right now. It has to start in defence, but the whole team needs a wake-up call. Well, they're looking at the referee, but he's waved play on. Adriano. Look long this time. To throw in. Nice. It's guys. That is lovely footwork. Guys, up for a throw. Gurek Yilmaz. Kagawa. Gurek Yilmaz. Osjokov. towards the flank more than happy to take the muscular approach and it's Yilmaz played out to the right not much subtlety he's launched himself there looks to clip it forward Yilmaz showed plenty of zest at getting to the ball but couldn't quite sort it out Osjokov. Charisma. Dinks one in. Dinks in. Now it's Burak Yilmaz. Going through. Keeper goes long. It's been intercepted and that will come to nothing. Kagawa. It's pinged one through here. And he's there to hoof it away. Battles to win it back, and he has been fouled there. And no surprise, that's a booking. Hector boots it to safety. Away. Get that clear. And it's Adriano. And he's whipped and it shoots. He's missed, but not by that far. A more than decent attempt, Peter.
Geis. Yeah, he's fouled him there. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. Well, the ref's been lenient here. I doubt he'll get too many more chances. He's gone for goal. This could fall anywhere. And the referee brings the first half to a close. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goalless. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? It's been all left field, and while the supply has been decent, it's bringing no reward, so this needs a different approach. An engrossing half, but we're still where we started, nil-nil. Here we go again then. Nil-nil then, and we're back on the way. And it's Oshakup. Oshakup threads one through. Oshakup. Now it's Oshakup. Out wide to the right. Aimed long and direct. And they're not going to make any further progress now. Back into the middle. He's had a look. Adriano. Mattel. Vida. Gokan Gurul. Now it's Burak Yilmaz. Geis. Tries lifting it over. Oh, smart save. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. And he just whacks it away. The clearance is very necessary. Mattel plays it forward. Continue each to cancel the other out. Dice. Oh, that's nice. Tries to stroke it through. Geis. Shoots! He scored! And that is the goal we've all been yearning for. He was so alert to the possibilities there, great stuff. Well, for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. So we have our breakthrough. Look, you can't deny that it's a blow, but this game is far from unsalvageable. Burak Yilmaz. Hutchinson needed to come up with a better ball. Oh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass, and its obviousness was, was appreciated. 
Ushikuk spreads it towards the left. Hutchinson hoists it high and helps available out wide. And that's been levered clear. Over to the left. Kagawa. Trying to get there. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Just has to be done. Mattel cuts it out. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Yeah, time's running out for the, the host to get something out of this. You can sense the frustration and impatience. Header! Oh, not the best of headers. There's some activity down on the touchline. Seems there's going to be a change. Adriano. This is a run down the left wing. Kagawa, he's onside. Has a pop! In it goes! And with the match slipping away, they have hauled themselves off the canvas. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. That has certainly made things interesting. It's pulsating, it's absorbing, and it's hugely entertaining. Every single player is giving everything. Cook and Gunnell dashing forward at pace. Pushes it out wide. And it's Charisma. Charisma tries to get it forward quickly. It's one! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Well, he did get himself into a good position. Something for him to cling to. And the referee has brought play back and showed him a yellow card. Siktas making consecutive changes here. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. Cologne go in search of their winner. Crosses it on. He's had a shot! Sticks it away! And again they hit the front. Finishing doesn't come simpler than that. Bang in front of goal. Well, he made it obvious as to where the pass should be played, Peter, and it made the finish look that bit easier. Well, it's an inspired substitution. Terrific move by the boss. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been go on and make yourself a nuisance and see if you can snatch a goal. Mission accomplished. So, the manager making the last of his changes. 
Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. Well, this is what we've been waiting for. Look, I just think they've kept at it, got their reward. Now they need to hang on to it. Forward it goes. Cologne are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Now it's Lenz. Out to the left it goes. Lenz has it out wide and in space. It's a brilliant interception. Besiktas are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. It's charisma! Charisma crosses. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Besiktas need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. really alert to the danger. Mattel. Hutchinson. Lentz. Erkin. Toure. Oh, that's a foul in a dangerous area. Now it's Lenz. And he heaves it forward. That's a throw. Thanks. Two minutes to be added on. Gets it upfield. And it's got through. He's had a good look and given a corner. Well, there's going to be a change now with the ball out of play. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the effort he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. Whipped in. Goalkeeper's ball. So that's it. It is all over. Well, that is not the outcome they were after. A truly disappointing defeat. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? It can be difficult at times playing in front of your own fans if you're not living up to the expectations. And I think with confidence looking a little fragile at the moment, they were playing not to lose more than trying to win, and I think everything was just a letdown because of that. So thank you very much, Jim, for joining me. That brings us to the end of our coverage. So from us both, a very good evening.
Hello, good afternoon to uh, one and all. Like you, we are very much ready to go here and looking forward to a game that has been the topic for universal conversation in this part of the world for much of the last few days. It's dry at the moment, but the forecasters have warned us of impending rain. There's no certainty about that, but uh, when it does come, it shouldn't affect the uh, dynamics of a match which has so much riding on it. This place simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. Anderlecht have gone 4-3-3. Jim, how do you interpret that? Yeah, and the two wide players up front can make the system pretty much succeed or fail. They'll be quite flexible in their creative movement. They like to drift in. At times, they'll mix their game up and, and keep their width. And, of course, they're also expected to track any runs from opposition fullbacks. So they've got quite hard-working jobs. But if they can gain a one-on-one -on -one advantage, they can dictate. They've got on the way here pretty promptly. Crunching tackle. Uh, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Well, you might think he got off lightly. It is just a verbal warning. She's got rid of that. Pushes it out wide. Plays a clever pass. Anderlecht are on fine form. So far as goals are concerned, they have scored in five games running. Nicely measured pass. Eduardo Vargas. And the shot! Saved only by poor finishing. Oh, I'm not sure what he had in mind, and I don't think he knew either. to the wing laid back in it's a promising ball and it's got through he's got it shoots managed to get it away well, they can break here aimed long and direct keeper goes long Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. And he's made sure that that won't get through. He's left his man. Out to the left it goes. Averted for now. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Cuts it out. Battling for the right to play in the early stages. Gets it back. And he's made certain that won't get through. Vargas tries to get it forward quickly. So it is still nil nil. A really good feat. Defending, albeit from an unexpected source. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think. You know, any good team, really, your striker should be the first line of that defence, and, and he's delivering. He's had a go! Goal! Anderlecht! Anderlecht, take the lead! Finishing doesn't come simpler than that. Bang in front of goal. And that's what the game is all about. Find space and finish, but we have to credit the pass to, to pick him out.
Anderlecht. Break the deadlock. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. And very well to intervene. Gets it upfield. Questions were asked. And he's given the answers. Forward it goes. Played out to the right. That's a throw. Hardly anything between the sides, and the score is 1-0. to get it forward quickly. Rodriguez. They try as they might, they just couldn't get into an attacking area. Going through. It is quite a run he's making here. And he's wit has a hit! He has done it! Hot knife through butter! They have done it again! The movement so precise, the finish sumptuous. Just when they thought they may be in at one end, they end up shipping a goal at the other, and it's all due to wonderful counter-attacking. They hardly have time to even react. There's only one word to describe that, clinical. So that's two now without reply. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. Anderlecht have scored two quick goals here and are well and truly in the driving seat. Eduardo Vargas, and it's hoisted clear. Over to the left, can he deliver? Oh, that is lovely footwork. And that's been levered clear. it in gently, gets up to head it! And that's caused a worry or two. Uh, that's a little unfortunate, he had a lot of people worried then. Stayed down. And he heaves it forward. It's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. Aimed long and direct. Play. Uh, needed a better pass there. Loose ball. Who's going to get that? Looks to dink one in. Back to the keeper and go again. 
Anderlecht are ahead here. It has been a good half for them. Uh, ball needed to be better there. That's a wasted chance. And now they can launch a counter. It's a good run down the right. Where could this lead? And he's going long. Now it's Vargas. Eduardo Vargas. Oh, that's neat. Real chance. And Vargas! He's done very well to get to that. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Eduardo Vargas, who's short. Swept in. And he's there to hoof it away. Chance to shoot. Takes it out to the wing. Great run this, he's covered quite a distance. for half time so first half thoughts well they had their opponents reeling in that half peter and the break may influence the change somehow but don't hold me to it Anderlecht sitting pretty here at half time 2-0 up We're off again. Back into the middle. The Khan. No, no way through there. Now the breakaway. Really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger forward it goes Vargas Eduardo Vargas Eduardo Vargas with the delivery and he just whacks it away and that's left him on the seat of his pants Oh, what's he giving here? Anderlecht present their opponents with the best possible chance here. Well, they can protest all they want, but a shake of the head is all they're going to get. It's hit the crossbar. We can get that clear. Laid back in, he's gone for it! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Well, he did get himself into a good position, something for him to cling to. Eduardo Vargas. And the counter is on. Here comes the corner. Up to meet it! Oh, not the best of headers. That was good defensive pressure to give him less manoeuvring room.
Lovely directed kick from the keeper. He's given it away. Oh, good interception. That's a foul. A decision for the referee. Lovely bit of skill. Anderlecht in a very solid position. Two to the good. And it's Valencia. Dashing forward at pace. That's surely a foul free kick. to add to football's endless list of could-haves and should-haves. Ah, quality deserted them when they really needed it. Out to the left it goes. Decent-looking ball. Valencia is flag offside. Oh, we're talking fractions. Oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. to space out wide. Anderlecht may be thinking about substitutions now. They still have two available. forward quickly he's got away and he's got the ball glued to his feet a slightly better ball would have led to a very different outcome there uh, that was just poor decision making and a weak execution plays it out to the flank Valencia oh that's a foul which side of the line is that the referee's decided that he was fouled outside the box, and it is just a free kick. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. And it's hoisted clear. Adventurous run from a defender. Last stitch defending, but that'll do. Lovely feet. So who's he picking out? Shoots! Boots it to safety. Looks to drop one in. And that's been levered clear. And it's hoisted clear. Aimed long and direct. Now a chance to break. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Forward it goes. Still going, where to next? And out to safety. Over 
to the left. Beautifully done. Just needed to be better than that, and he knows it. A real chance to break. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. Here's a change that was in the offing. Last one allowed. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the efforts he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. Tries to stroke it through. Knocks it away. He's gone for a throw-in. Lassie battles to win it back. We sit high. We've got a corner here. And it's been taken short. Palassi. Five minutes remaining now. Driving on a real charge here. Boots to safety. That's been one straight back. has crossed the line, and it's a throw. Surely this is the last chance now. Here's the ball in. And that's been levered clear. Looks to clip it forward. And it's hoisted clear. Well, to be honest, I think they're all showing no substance. Where's the final product? Going through. Oh, well played. He's taken that really cleanly. There is the final whistle. Anderlecht will be very happy with a job well done. An efficient win, in which the players simply did enough. Well, what are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? There's a solidity about them, almost as if they set up not to lose and see how things unfold. That eases the pressure on the strikers, who can afford to be patient, and it's all paid off. Well, that's the lot for now. Thanks to you, Jim, and goodbye.